Hey, it's Joe from SupplementClarity.com. So today let's talk about magnesium breakthrough. It is a magnesium supplement I've been getting a lot of questions about. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ingredients in magnesium breakthrough, some of the research on those ingredients, and tell you what happened when I tried it myself. So let's begin with the ingredients. Two capsules of magnesium breakthrough has all of these ingredients right here. We start with vitamin B6. You may say, why is B6 in a magnesium supplement? Well, there is some research that magnesium and B6 may be more effective together, and that's probably why it's there. You may have heard that Magnesium Breakthrough has the seven different forms of magnesium, and here they are right here, magnesium chelate, bisglycinate, aspartate, etc. What these are, uh, they are chelated minerals. Chelated means to attach something to a mineral. And so by combining a mineral like magnesium to say an amino acid like glycine, aspartic acid, etc., you increase its absorption. And that may actually help it work a little bit better. And so that's why Magnesium Breakthrough has chelated minerals. But below that, you'll also notice this right here, humic and fulvic acid blend. These are plant nutrients, plant compounds. They do have some antioxidant properties, but I believe they're in Magnesium Breakthrough for another reason. I think they're there to further boost the absorption of the magnesium. There is some research that both humic acid and fulvic acid can be nutrient enhancers. And this actually makes the Magnesium Breakthrough a little different because I've seen chelated minerals in a lot of different supplements, again, to boost the absorption, but I've never seen an extra little boost of a nutri another nutrient enhancer in there as well. So that's something that the Magnesium Breakthrough has that I haven't seen in other supplements. And then below that, you'll see a little bit of manganese. Manganese is a very important mineral. It's involved in many, many different chemical reactions in the body. And there is some evidence that mang or magnesium may actually lower manganese levels. I think that's why it's there to try to buffer that reduction in manganese levels. And one of the things, just to give you an idea how important it is, manganese is necessary for the production of superoxide dismutase and superoxide dismutase, SOD, is a very, very important antioxidant enzyme complex that you make, and you need manganese to make SOD. So, let me show you the supplement facts label because there's something that you may be a little confused at if you're holding it in your hand right now. You'll notice that two capsules of magnesium breakthrough has 500 milligrams of magnesium, the element magnesium, but you'll also notice 1765 milligrams of the proprietary blend. The proprietary blend is all of this stuff, magnesium, bisglycinate, chelate, aspartate, uh, et cetera. When you, when you take in the weights of the amino acids and the humic and the fulvic acid complex, that all adds up to 1765 milligrams. But again, we're really interested in the magnesium and that's why you see it, they're telling you it has 500 milligrams in two capsules. So hopefully that kind of cl clears up any confusion you might have if you saw those two numbers. So why is magnesium important? Well, it, there's over 350 different enzymatic reactions in the human body that actually need magnesium to function properly. You need magnesium to make ATP energy. That's our ultimate energy molecule in the body. You need it to make proteins and nucleic acids like DNA and RNA. You need it to transfer methyl groups around the cells. A lot of people are interested in methyl transfers because it switches on and switches off genes. Magnesium does that too lowers blood sugar, lowers blood pressure, and there is even some research I'll talk a little bit about in a moment on depression and anxiety, so stay tuned for that. There is also evidence that many individuals may be suffering from what they call subclinical magnesium deficiency. In other words, they're not getting enough in their diet, and this may be as many as 50% of Americans. And I think this may also be true for other developing or first world countries as well. Why is that? Is that because the, uh, the soil is depleted? Not so much. I think it's mostly because people are not eating the foods that have magnesium, such as green foods, for instance. So I think that's one of the reasons why people are not getting enough magnesium. If it comes in a can, a box, or it has a wrapper around it, it probably doesn't have a lot of magnesium. 
So let me show you some of the research on some of the different forms of magnesium in Magnesium Breakthrough. Keep in mind that researchers don't always tell us the type of forms that they're using. And so I, I had to sift through the research and this is what I was able to find. In terms of magnesium glycinate, okay, there is some research that it may help reduce uh, pregnancy-induced leg cramps, again, in women who are pregnant. Uh, that's really, really good. Again, this study actually did use magnesium bisglycinate, which is in the Magnesium Breakthrough Supplement. There is also evidence that magnesium may also help PMS. I point out that this study also used magnesium in addition to vitamin B6, which Magnesium Breakthrough also has. In terms of magnesium aspartate, which is also in the breakthrough supplement, here is a study from several years ago which shows that it appears to help uh, lower blood pressure in people. I think there are, other, there are other studies on other forms of magnesium also lowering blood pressure. But again, this one actually did use uh, the magnesium aspartate. In terms of bone density and bone health, yeah, there is some evidence that magnesium can help strengthen bones, such as this study here, which appears to show an improvement in bone density uh, in the thigh bone and the hip bone. Uh, but I would also point out that as we get older, we tend to have less magnesium in the bones, and this may play a role in uh, bone loss as we get older, definitely worthy of future research. In terms of ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, there is evidence that low levels of magnesium may increase uh, the risk of this disorder. Here's a study of 50 kids with ADHD given magnesium for six months and magnesium lowered the ADHD in those kids compared to when they started and compared to when kids took a placebo. And here is a review of seven previous ADHD studies, which again appear to show, they say here, the evidence from this study supports the theory that low levels of magnesium appear to increase the risk of ADHD. Now we come to magnesium tartrate. This is another form of magnesium that's in the magnesium breakthrough supplement. I don't see it in a lot of supplements, so let me talk about this for a moment. So here we have, uh, it is a rat study, and I want you to be aware of that, and rats are not people, but I wanted to bring this to your attention because they did mention that magnesium tartrate had the highest concentration in the brains of these rats. Hold on to that for a moment. And it was also associated with decreased, decreased levels of anxiety. They also mentioned that magnesium malate, which is also in the breakthrough supplement, it, it remained in the blood of the animals for an extended period of time. So again, both, both magnesium tartrate and malate are in the breakthrough supplement. I bring this to your attention, specifically the tartrate for another reason, depression. So there are several studies that do appear to show that low levels of magnesium may raise the risk of depression and anxiety. I will link to my other video on the magnesium and depression so you could see that research for yourself. But one of the things you'll notice in that video, I pointed out, many of these studies appear to be using magnesium tartrate, which again is in the magnesium breakthrough supplement. So, so much for the research. What happened when I took this? I did have the opportunity to try Magnesium Breakthrough for three weeks. And so take this for what it is. This is what I experienced. Number one, I do think I slept a little better when I tried this supplement. I, I felt I got to bed, I got to sleep sooner. I think I slept a little better. And I don't believe I woke up as tired as I might all ordinarily wake up. So again, a little subjective, but it's something I did notice after a few weeks on this supplement. Didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight to me. It's something I just gradually noticed as I was going through with my little experiment. I also appeared to have a better outlook on things. I wouldn't say that I'm depressed by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a pretty happy person overall. But after a few weeks with, with the Magnesium Breakthrough Supplement, I did feel that I just felt better. And that's hard to pin down. It's hard to put into words how I felt. I just felt better. Better. And again, take that for what it is. It didn't pop up overnight. It took a few weeks to kick in. And again, I know that's subjective, but again, that's something that I personally noticed when I tried it. 
I did not notice any change in blood pressure. And that's something you hear a lot of people say when they take magnesium supplements and there is research on this, but for me, I didn't notice it. And here's why I believe I usually have low, low blood pressure to begin with. My blood pressure is usually 100 over 70. And, and that's what I noticed. I took my blood pressure three times, once a week, in the morning before breakfast, after I was seated for about five minutes. So I made normal protocols for blood pressure and my blood pressure was, was basically the same. So no problems there, but I do think it would probably work a little differently in other people, especially those who have higher blood pressure. So in somebody like me, who's pretty good in terms of blood pressure scale, I didn't notice a difference. I also didn't notice any improvement in exercise. And you hear some people say that magnesium helps you work out better. I did not notice this. And that's actually in keeping in line with a lot of the research studies on magnesium. Most of those studies don't show improvements in exercise. I didn't notice it either. And so, you know, you can take that for what it is. I also didn't notice any side effects, and that's a good thing. So no, no problems with the supplement. Um, I, I didn't, again, one of the things with, with magnesium, if you take too much of it, you end up running to the bathroom. That didn't happen to me at all. So I'll, I'll take that as, as, a, as a win for magnesium breakthrough. So that is my little uh, N equals one experiment on, on this particular product. In terms of pros and cons, just give you a big lay of the land here. These are one of the things that I noticed when I, when I investigated this, this dietary supplement. Um, I would say it has an effective dose of magnesium and that's basically means it's got a similar amount of magnesium that I see in other studies which show favorable effects. So that's a good thing. No stimulants, that's also good. The, the Magnesium Breakthrough Supplement, when you buy it from the company, it actually has one of the best return policies I've ever seen in, in a supplement. You got a whole year to return it. I'm gonna link to it uh, below so you can get it directly from the company. I do think it's probably a good idea to get it from the company because as this starts picking up traction, there may be some knockoff brands which may not do the same thing as, as this particular product does. And then I also would notice that, uh, you know, I had benefits. I, I believe I noticed uh, some differences when I took this. And I, and I would believe me because I look at a lot of supplements and I'm not, I don't believe I'm, wor I'm, I'm somebody who's subjective to, say, a placebo effect. So I believe what I experienced was actually real. Now, in terms of the cons, the big con uh, downside that I would say for Magnesium Breakthrough is I don't see any human clinical studies on Magnesium Breakthrough itself. I would like to take it into the lab and test it on 50 people to see what happens. I don't see that as of yet. I can also say a majority of, of supplements I look at don't also have any research as well. But again, that's, that's a con in, that I would list for the product. So in terms of what do I think about it, number one, I would say, I, I do think it's probably gonna affect, uh, help some people, but I do think the effects will be greatest in people who are already deficient in magnesium. If you're eating a lot of magnesium rich foods, it may help some, and I do tend to eat some magnesium in foods. So again, I did notice benefits. I think the benefits would be greater in somebody who is already deficient in the mineral. I do also believe it won't work overnight. I think it'll probably take a few weeks to maybe even months before you might notice some differences. And that's because we're all different with different conditions. You know, for instance, I, I think it would probably affect blood sugar, uh, long, take longer to affect blood sugar than it would say for sleep. And then it goes without saying that if you take any medications or have any health problems, you really wanna to talk to your doctor before you take uh, magnesium or any dietary supplement. So again, I'll link to Magnesium Breakthrough below so you can check it out for yourself. I do recommend you get it directly from the company, but if you've tried it, let me know below how it worked for you. I'm curious. So I hope this helped you. Until next time, I'm Joe Cannon from supplementclarity.com. I'll take care. I'll talk to you soon.